In this video, we're going to be setting up a way for the user to change their password to their account. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go into the reset password method uh, we already created. Or actually, we're going to create that in the service. And then we'll go into the method that we already created in our component. We'll, we'll uh, wire that all up. And that's the first thing, uh, first two things we'll start on. We'll knock it out piece by piece. There's a lot of different moving parts. We're going to have to be jumping around a bunch of different files in this video. So we'll just knock it out piece by piece. So what we're trying to do here is when the user fills out this form, and, uh, they'll enter in their email, hit send. They'll get an email in their inbox. Uh, they should get a link in their email. When they click on this link, it's going to send them back to our application. And then they're going to get another field like this. But this is for them to actually enter in their new password and hit send. And then when they reset their password, we'll let them know on the console that it was successful. For now, anyways. Uh, so first of all, let's go open up our our component, our reset password component, and our service. We'll have to start in them next. Let's open up our uh, service first thing, and we'll start working in here. And then also we'll be doing some work in the reset password. Open up the .ts file. So we'll have to call from within this method uh, when it's the form is submitted, and that was the form we were just looking at on the front end or in the browser and this will call our service and in here we'll need to set up a method and this method will turn around and call our API we have right here our reset password so I uh, will set that up first thing so uh, I'm just gonna copy this this video is gonna be a lot of copying and pasting the reason is is uh, we already did a lot of this work uh, already so uh, I'll just change this to reset password and we'll need to pass in a model and then like we did before, we're going to need to pass something into the headers. And this is who's going to be handling the, the changing of the password. Like before, this was who was handling the confirmation of the uh, email. But uh, now it's it's the changing of the password. And we need to, we haven't set, the, set up the URL, but we could set up the naming right now. And to do that, let's go back. And I just want to refresh your memory. If we go back to the auth controller, this is what we created several videos back and we need to pass something in right here and it's called the change password URL and we're passing it in through the headers so you can actually just copy that and then if we close this back down and we paste that in here so we don't spell it wrong and then we could set up our URL I'm, I'm gonna use the same name just to keep it simple and we'll put some uh, dummy text in here we'll come back in a second and change this so I'll put in like test.com. Okay, and then we need, we want to make sure we pull that in here. Paste that in there. Okay, we set up our headers and all this will be the same. And we're passing it in here. Now we need to make sure we're calling the correct uh, API. So that's going to be inside of our auth controller. So auth URL. And then instead of create, if we go back here, it's going to be reset password. Copy this and then go back here paste it in there okay so that's all we really need to do we set up our um, our call and our service save this now let's pull our service into uh, the the uh, controller so we go into controller go in here inside the constructor I'm gonna call it off service and paste that in there and make sure you pull it in all right, so we should have access to this. So again, this is going to be very similar to what we just did. Um, you could take your pick, maybe the login. We'll try that. Just copy and paste. Yeah, this is perfect. Let's just copy this and then close this down. Uh, go back in here and paste. And then I'm going to change this to uh, reset password. Reset password, copy and paste. And we're not calling the login anymore. We're calling reset password there it is okay and that should be it and then we'll just change the text here like uh check your email change password okay and that's all we re really need to do there save this so before we move on to the next section uh let's test this to make sure we're able to send the user an email so um i already have the angular application running so it should automatically reset and save everything so uh let's check it in here and let's enter in email. We'll open up our console. So hit send. 
Okay, check your email. If we go to our email, there's our brand new email. And then here, we need to set up our component where we can pluck out the token, very similar to our email confirmation we were doing in the last video. Uh, we'll set up a way to grab this token, grab this user ID, and then our new password, we're gonna send that on to our second API right here. Uh, we'll be doing that in a second. But uh, th this part is working, so that is good. So now we need to set up our component, change this name around from test.com to our new component uh, route. Uh, so uh, let's go open this up again. So we knocked these two out, and now let's go and set up our change password component and set up our route. We'll do that next. So let's generate our new component inside the auth and with the rest of our other components inside the components folder. So open up the command line, then ngg, and we're creating a new component. And we'll put that inside the auth folder, components, and we'll call it change password. password okay there's our brand new component and uh, before we actually make any changes in our component like like setting up our view things like that let's set up our routing uh, open up the auth route and then uh, right below our confirm email we'll just add in another one so copy and paste and then make sure you pull in your component I'll just uh, copy and paste that as well so I don't spell it wrong so copy and throw that in there. Make sure you pull it in. And then I'll call this uh, change password. Password. And our route is set up, so that's good. Save this. And then we can shut this down. And then before we forget, let's go back to that service. And if you remember, I put right in here test.com. So now we could actually, now that we have a route set up, we can enter that in. So copy this again and change this to change password. Okay, now before we actually uh, start changing around our component, let's make sure our routing and our component is all hooked up correctly. So let's do a real quick test run. If we go back here, I, I still have Angular running. And then we enter in the email and hit send. Okay, that's still working. And then if we go back to our, our email, we got a new email. And as you can see right here, now it's not test.com anymore. It's our new route we just set up. That's good. So if we click on this, this should send us back to our component. So if we click on this. Very good. So now uh, we need to work on plucking that uh, token and the user ID from, from within our component. We'll, we'll get that token and the user ID and we'll send it back to our second API we got right here through our service. So now that's what we need to work on next is sending back the information to our second API. So let's first, before we do that, let's start working on our view and uh, get our view, our form working. So let's close this down and we'll leave this open and open up the view. Now this view is very similar to uh, the reset password one. So I'm just gonna copy and paste and we'll just change around the values there. So just copy this. And then if we go back here, or actually reopen that uh, HTML here. Okay, now I'm just gonna replace this. So uh, instead of reset password, it's gonna be change password. Change password. And then we're gonna change this around in a second. Uh, we'll come back to that. And then down here will be uh, enter new password. Yeah, enter new password. Password. And then this will be password instead of email. And copy, paste. And then uh, change password. I'll change that. And copy, paste. And then this will be uh, enter new password. Okay, like change password, that'd be good. And then I'm gonna change this icon. I found a real nice icon. Uh, if we go back here, it's in font awesome and I already have that in the browser. And this is perfect, copy this. Go back here, it's a, a little save symbol. And then I'll just change this. Okay, so we have that all set up. Now I'm not adding a second input field for now. Uh, we'll take care of that when we're doing form validation, uh, but this is pretty good for now. And then this, we're not gonna be passing in the uh, 
the ng form like we're doing here we're going to actually sign it to a variable now and i'll explain in a second why i'm doing that so we can actually get rid of this and actually let's change this entire method we'll call this uh change password now and let's create this uh so we could get rid of that error if we go back to our component and i'll just throw something down here okay that should take care of that error for us uh let's save this go back here give this a kick oh, okay okay good so now we want to figure out a way to get that information from this form instead of doing it this way i'm going to um I'll do a little different so ng model hit tab and then we're going to create a variable i'm going to just call it model and then uh this this object is going to have a property and it's going to be called password and we're getting an error it, the reason is it doesn't exist in our component copy this go back here so let's go and create that and it'd be a model and it'd be a type of any and then it's going to be equal to a object so that should store or what we're doing is we're binding this model to this input field this way uh, that's what we just did if we give this a kick that should take care of that error okay so that that's the way we're going to get the password and then now what we could do is we could sign other things to this object like the token and the user id that we're getting from the url and the way we do that is by uh, doing it like we did it with our email confirmation if we go back to that and we'll again copy and paste so let's check this out it's actually in our confirm email actually and right here we're plucking the token and the user id from the url if we go back here and go here so we want to get that token and the user id and we did that in the last video and the way we did that was this way so we could just uh, copy this and we'll set up the um, route in a second i'll just uh, copy this though let's go back here and from within the ng on it paste that in there so we'll have to set up uh, this. This is going to be model now. And this. And this is what we're going to send on to our service in a second. But for now, what we'll do is we'll console log that. Just to make sure everything's working before we actually start working inside the service. Uh, let's take care of this, though, our route. And again, we just copy and paste. Uh, go right here. And actually, we're going to need to set up our service. Might as well co copy that as well. Okay, and go back here. Throw that in the constructor. And that should take care of that error down here. Now we need to pull some things in here. Yeah, like I was saying before, this is a lot of the work we already did. So I, it goes a lot smoother. Okay, so now that this is done, uh, let's make sure this is working. Let's make sure we're able to grab our parameters from the URL save everything and make sure you save this and let's uh, do another test run if we go back here and it should automatically uh, refresh and it did so now we're getting our form and it's uh, looking good change password I like that little symbol that looks really good the icon sim symbol and enter new password okay so if we check out the console and we inspect console and we um, send in a password we should get all our information from from the, the all our parameters and this in an object and we did very good so here is our token our user id and our password now that we're able to get all this information now we can send this off to our service and our service is going to call this um this api and pass in all that information that you're seeing in the console and then we should be able to come to uh, change the password so if we go back here and go back here we close this down and then now we're ready to call our service and we need to create that so let's go open up our service so if we go down here and then down here it's going to be very similar to what we did when we were confirming our email this is going to be actually changing the passwords so uh, just copy this paste this We'll, we'll change around all the values again. So this will be change password. And then it's still going to be our auth 
uh, controller we're calling, but now we're calling the change password. Again, I'll just uh, like to copy and paste so I don't spell anything wrong. So copy this and paste this. And we're passing in the model uh, that we were just looking at in the console. We're passing that in here. And that is it. That's all we need to do in the service. Now we've got to make sure we call this. So we go back here and right here. And I, we could actually copy and paste that as well. If we go back to our uh, confirm email, it's almost exactly the same as this. Copy and paste. So copy and we go back to here. A lot of jumping around and then just paste it in here. And then instead of confirm email, it's going to be uh, change password. So change password. And then it's, and I spelled that wrong. So password. Let's go back and take care of that. It's going to be password. Okay, there we go. Save this. And uh, we go back here now. Close this down. Okay, so it's going to be change password. And then instead of this URL, it's going to be the model. So this model. And then we get rid of this and this. And we'll still log everything out uh, when we uh, change our password. And that's pretty much it. So um, now that we have all of that set up, I know it's a lot of different moving parts. It's very, it's very hard to explain because you're jumping around all these different files. There's a lot of different things going on. But this should work now. So let's go and run it and see how it works. Okay, so we should be able to reuse this uh, string we have uh, right here. So we'll just enter in a new password uh, for our account. So I'll, the password right now is one, two, three, four. So I'll enter in one, two, three, four, five and change password. And it says success. So if we try to log in with that account now and the account name is Mike. And if we enter in one, two, three, four, five, that's our new password. Okay, so we logged in. Let me change it to one, two, three, four. And of course that should be wrong now. And it is. Uh, let's go uh, through the entire step all over again. So if we go uh, back to here, and actually I could just uh, delete this. And then, uh, so we get a new email. I'm gonna sh shut this down and go back to reset password, actually login page, and then click on our forgot password. We'll enter in our, our email. Okay, so we sent out our email and then we go here. We should get an email soon. There it is. Click on that and it says, okay, click on this link to change our password. So we click on that. Sends us back to our change password page. And then I'm gonna change it back to one, two, three, four. And then if we check the console, success. So if we go back to logging in, and we will figure out a better way of giving the user feedback in later videos. Uh, yeah, we won't be using the console forever. Then just uh, click on this and enter in your new password. And we successfully logged in. Uh, so that's pretty much it for that. So now in the next section, or actually in the next video, we'll go over what we just, we've been doing and what we're going to do in the next section. So I'll see you then.